welcome back to Four Faces. Today we're going to talk about, or I should say continually talk about, the possible hiring freeze that's happening at this particular company. Now, if you look at my previous videos, I talk about other companies that already started the process of laying off, such as Twitter, Facebook, Ford, you get the point. Uh, take a look at those other videos. Um, and we're going to keep doing this. We like talking about this stuff as far as when we say light, we don't mean like, oh, it's a great thing, but we like to bring this to you so you have information. Because, you know, the media is all caught up with all this other stuff happening with Trump and, and, uh, and you know, elections and all. But that doesn't really affect you or me, right? What affects you or me is whether or not we're going to have a good Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's. That affects us more than anything else. So with that being said, I do want to give you some information here. Something called WARN. WARN is basically a worker adjustment and retaining notification. This is basically an enactment that states that if a company hires, have, I should say, more than 100 employees, they are required within 60 days to give you notification that they will have a layoff. Now, there's a catch-22, of course. What would, be a, what would this be without some type of catch to it? The catch is very simple. If the company has some type of unforeseen consequences, they don't have to notify you. If there's some type of natural disaster, they don't have to notify you. So there are some, unfortunately, some bad sides to this, right? And another thing is that you cannot recoup any type of financials from this. In other words, there's really no type of enforcement that's being applied to this enactment. It's kind of just a piece of paper in a sense, but at least it gives the company some type of hopefully moral ground to do the right thing. With that being said, Apple, Tim Cook, he's doing a so-called hiring freeze. Now, it is an interview he's gonna be doing this week from CBS, and he talks about the direction of the company of Apple, and you can take a look at that. Um, but here's the thing, the way he words it, the way he worded it is like, oh no, we're not gonna do a hiring freeze, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be planning accordingly, very, carefully on where we hire it. That's a bunch of bull. That's a bunch of bull. That just, that's business talk. The bottom line is that they're going to do a hiring freeze. Point blank, period. The Tim Cook don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it for you, Tim Cook. You're going to do a hiring freeze. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Because, you know, you got to understand the reason why Apple is not coming right out and say, oh yeah, Tim Cook, by the way, was the CEO of Apple. The reason why he ain't coming straight out and say, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to do a hiring freeze. The reason why he's not doing it, because you got to remember, you got to remember, Apple is supposed to represent what? The people, right? It's supposed to show that we with the people, we for the people, we here to, you know, comfort them. If you just announce, imagine if Apple just came out saying, yo, we're going to be laying off a couple of people. You know how that will look? Do you know the ripple effect that would have? A company such as Apple talking about, oh, we're going to lay off? Man, you talk about a domino effect? It'll be crazy. It will get horrible. It really would. So to stifle something like that from happening, Apple nicely says, no, we're not going to, we're still going to be hiring. Yeah, we're going to still be hiring. We're just going to be, you know, hiring in certain areas. Nah, you're going to be laying off. <laughs> you're going to be at least minimum hiring freeze. You're definitely going to do a minimum you're going to be hiring freeze. There's no if ands about that. And you know what? When you really think about it, this, is, this should be no surprise to anybody. What's happening now with the interest rates going high, right? You got the interest rates going high. We're talking about like 7%. Uh, the Federal Reserve is getting ready to increase the rates again, right? In December this month. I mean, sorry, December next month. It's November now. My bad. Right? They're going to increase the rates. So you can already see the writing on the wall. The more the rates go up, think about it. People are not going to have people have less money to borrow to buy things, right? So it's, it comes without saying. But for Apple to kind of smooth it over a little bit, I guess that's business talk. It's a brand they're trying to keep. So I, I can relate to that and I can understand why they would do that. But I'm just letting you know ahead of time that if you work at Apple, well, you should be okay for now because we're going, we're going into the holiday season. And the fact that we're going to the holiday season, you know, I think it's less likely they will want to um, eliminate jobs or I should say layoffs. <laughs> Let me be nice about it, right? But the hiring freeze, I could definitely see that. Now, as far as that's concerned, they didn't say what departments that they gonna be a, that's going to be affected. They never mentioned that. He never mentioned that. And uh, I looked at a little bit of the CBS uh, interview. He never mentioned that where at. He just said, you know, you know, and we're going to be looking at basically the whole 
company as a whole and seeing what the outlook's going to be. Because keep in mind, Apple is struggling as well as far as things are concerned because you have, uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but in China, one of the main factories are going through some time, are going through some troubles with Foxconn. And um, what's happening is that, you know, China has still got that strict COVID pro policy, you know, like, yo, we shutting this down. If there's any COVID patient, COVID people in here, we're shutting this down. Or guess what? You can't leave the plant. So what happened, uh, the news they didn't really talk about this, but I'm going to tell you right now, what happened was in Foxconn, there was a COVID case, COVID-19 we're talking about. You might say, hold on, we still doing COVID? Uh, yeah, all the parts of the world is still doing COVID. And China is definitely still doing COVID. And keep in mind, in China, that's where a lot of our products come from. You know that already. That's nothing new. No one should be surprised about that. But here's the thing. Uh, when you get a COVID case in China in a factory, what happens is the employees are not allowed to leave. So what happened was once they, once people heard the whispers of someone possibly got COVID, people start leaving the factory. <laughs> people just start leaving the factory because they was like, I'm not getting stuck in this factory. No, no, no. I got to go feed my babies. I got to go take care of, you know, things at home. So people just start leaving the factory. So... <sighs> It's sad. I mean, it's just it's just crazy that this is happening at this point in time and we're still going through these motions here. But I just let you know, guys, ahead of time, uh, what's going down. We'll keep talking about this. We'll keep talking about the possible layoffs, what we can do, some of the laws that's enacted that can possibly help you. And like I said, we're here in four faces. We don't like to talk about the problems. We also like to talk about solutions. So keep this in mind. If for any reason you get laid off, the first step, you probably know these steps already, but I'm saying it's just to confirm what you possibly already know. And just to bring some comfort to you. That the first thing is, go to unemployment, get your unemployment up. You also, if you have any type of pension plan, you can remove some money from that. Keep in mind, you might get taxed for it. I shouldn't say you might, you will get taxed on that. So keep that in mind. If you got your savings, your checkings, things like that, you could start, you know, making sure you stack up on there and pull out money accordingly. Uh, take a look at your finances, see how that look. Educate yourself, bring yourself into an update and marketplace, increase your value through education. You're always going to increase your value through education. Just make sure you pick, you pick a particular field that is going to help you out and not going to put you more in debt.